If I had seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. It's my uncle's favourite saying, but I know he borrowed it. It was written by Sir Isaac Newton, a pretty smart guy who figured out the law of gravity. I am sure that even good old Isaac didn't understand gravity just by seeing an apple falling down though. He was inspired by other thinkers. This is exactly what standing on the shoulders of giants means. Every new creation is based on something that has been created in the past. So being inspired is one thing, but what if it leads to copying? That's where copyright comes in, to protect creations from being copied outright, motivating people to create new and original stuff. Actually, when Newton wrote the Principia, copyright didn't even exist yet. It was established a few years later here in England, because many years before, another smart guy invented a machine that made it easy to copy books. The idea was to give authors the right to control the copies of their books so they could make a living out of it, for the encouragement of learned men to compose and write useful books. So copyright is all about defending but not stifling creativity. It has to strike a balance between protecting and sharing, encouraging both the production and the spread of knowledge. It really is a very complex mechanism which throughout history has faced many challenges. Technologies like cameras, phonographs, pianolas, radios, photocopiers and home recording devices have made copying more and more accurate to such an extent that reality can now be reproduced virtually to infinity. Since the 1970s, however, the digital revolution has sped everything up. In the time it took Newton to write one page, now entire books can be digitised, listened to and shared via peer-to-peer -peer networks, opening the doors to many potential copyright infringements. The key point is that audiences are becoming users and creators at the same time, which makes it difficult to apply the old rules to the new reality. So far, the lawmakers have faced these challenges with a conservative approach, strengthening copyright and making it last longer and longer. Creative works are often easy to get hold of unlawfully, rather than from legal sources. And it is curious that universities pay publishers in order to allow their students to read their own teachers' texts. Creativity, more than ever, needs to be protected and encouraged, shared and enjoyed, which means copyright needs to evolve to adjust to these rapid changes. In recent years, licensing has become more responsive to users' needs, and initiatives such as Copyleft and Creative Commons have given creators new options, but there's still much to do. In the end, the message is clear. Knowledge should not be locked up. If we want to see further, we need to be able to climb on the shoulders of giants.